Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is another episode from our Bespoke Post series. Uh, this time we didn't get one of the monthly boxes. Uh, I went ahead and opted out of the boxes. Some of them weren't ones I was real, real interested in, and I did see something that I did want to get. As you can see, it is a long box, and uh, if you can read that right there, it does say bare bones. And if you have watched uh, some of the other episodes, you may know who bare bones is. We've got uh, part of as you can see here, the Woodsman Collection. Now, this is what I would consider, and what uh, a lot of a lot of YouTubers, especially guys that I watch uh, uh, and follow and and whatnot, would consider this to be a bushcraft knife. Uh, now, as you can see here, we have the uh, the knife. It comes with the sheath here, and uh, it has all of the kind of classic known features. Uh, that are part of the bare bones kind of series of knives and edged implements and, and various other types of things. Um, what they have is an oil canvas uh, sheath right here. It does have a, uh, a liner on the inside, a plastic liner. It does have their nice leather accent piece, which is on basically any of the sheaths that they have. Uh, you do have a, uh, a leather, uh, basically a leather snap keeper here and the snap which is a uh, I believe that's either like a copper or a brass and then on the back there you do have a, uh, a simple belt clip there uh, now let's go ahead and take this out and as you can see it is a pretty decent sized knife this is a six inch blade as you can see there and then we also have a, uh, a walnut handle which is standard for all of bare bones uh, kind of knives and everything they do have this little copper insert here to put a lanyard of course they have their little uh, information thing here and now it does have two rivets here and uh, a little seal stamp there the rivets here are actually uh, screw-in type rivets they use an allen key so or an allen wrench and you can take and uh, tighten and loosen those up i'm sure if you for some reason need to uh, replace the scales let's go ahead and check out and see what our little note card says here all right so uh looking at the little booklet here it's not real big just gives us some basic things they do say that this was basically why this was designed they give you kind of an understanding of of the premise of the design and how, why and how they designed it the way they did. Little quotes in here as well. And there is a cleaning and maintenance section here. Uh, they do say that for the blade, you should apply a thin layer of protective oil after each use because this is a high carbon blade. Uh, now, something else that I will mention about this, you can see right here, a fairly thick uh, blade. But uh, the in interesting thing, I guess, is um, it's a little different than what I'm used to seeing for something that would be considered maybe a bushcraft knife. Usually I see them and they have something kind of like that, maybe like an apple seed kind of grind, which is, uh, I mean, that's kind of the shape of it. Or you have something called a, a Scandinavian or a Scandi grind. It's basically flat until you get down fairly low on the blade, then it starts to chamfer in a little bit and then you finally get to that point where you're going to put the edge on. This one is actually a flat grind. Uh, now flat grind is where you actually have it ground from top to bottom totally flat and then you put the edge just on the very the very very edge of it. You put that additional um, that additional angle in to get the edge. So uh, it does make it overall thinner. Um, it it worries me in the effect or in the sense that you don't have that extra material to support the edge like you do for like a Scandinavian or an apple seed type grind. Uh, one thing I do want to see though is this does seem to have a very nice edge on it. So let's take a quick look and see how this does on the old arm hair here. And uh, uh, yep, there's the back, there's the front. out to the curve it's just it's taking the hair right off and yep so nice and sharp straight out of the box shaving sharp as they say and uh, yeah yeah that cleaned that cleaned it off really easy so um, now uh, let's go ahead and take this outside we'll uh, see how it performs all right so we'll try this ash right here uh, see how she works. It's pretty long. wasn't cut very good on the ends, so I'm just gonna have to try and hold it here best we can. All 
All right, not bad. Um, you can just see some uh, some of the marks from uh, where it rubbed on the side. But so uh, surprisingly, this uh, this dealt pretty well, or this handled that pretty well. So uh, I think this is going to be a pretty good uh, pretty good bushcraft knife for me. Uh, if you follow the link down there in the description below, uh, and you guys do join, I get a little kickback from that. So I get a little money back from that, but so do you. So we both actually make out on it. You guys get some money off of your first order, and I get a little money off of one of my next orders. And also, while you're down there, go ahead and check out our social media. We got links down there for that as well on your way down or on your way back up don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well as that subscribe button if you haven't done so already either the red one down below the video or there's going to be one floating around in the corner or something like that uh, and uh, you can click on either one of those make sure you hit the bell there is that little bell icon it is going to notify you of when we have new videos coming out here on world of me all right everybody well my name's cougar this has been another episode from our bespoke post series I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.